Hi and welcome to JJ's Cookbook. Now, nothing conjures up an appetite more than the sight of a roast chicken. A full roast chicken, yes, it's the most, most appetizing sight on earth. Those of you who love chicken. So, this time, I'm going to show you a great roast chicken, which is flavored my style, JJ's style. Um, it's not like the usual uh, roast chicken that you get outside. It's my own technique. It's my own thing. And I flavored it in every way possible, in a very, very, very beautiful way, so that you have tender, succulent meat inside and crispy exterior outside. So, how this is done is the technique. And this is going to be shown here, right here. So wait, and I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. Now I've got a chicken out here. Now it's this is 1.5 kilos, and it has been cleaned well. Um, all the insides have been taken out, but it's uh, you can see the skin is still there, and it is um, fully intact. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to deal with the chicken. Now, uh, we need to, first of all, we need to marinate and then we need to truss it. Trussing is um, um, tying it up uh, with a cooking string, okay? Uh, before I touch the uh, chicken, let me first do the marinade, okay? And the marinade is going to be very spicy and very nice. But it's not the typical Indian marinade. It's kind of different, okay? It's JG style of marinade. Um, and uh, when I'm going to touch this chicken, I'm going to use some gloves because I do not want to um, uh, contaminate the other things uh, because I'm doing a shoot. Otherwise, it's okay. I could uh, wash my hands all the time with soap and water. Before that, I'm going to take out my ring. And uh, first of all, let me just do the marinade. Okay, for the marinade, uh, what we need is some lemon or lime. Okay, and just. Mm, the acid burst, that's what we need. And the peel, just put it in. Now this is the roasting tin, okay? The roasting tin, and the chicken has been laid. 1.5 kilos of chicken has been laid on the roasting tin. And um, it's fully dried, there's nothing there. Uh, I just took out the juice of the lime and I put the peel in there. And the next one, again, peel inside. If you don't want to, just throw it, but it uh, adds a, a different flavor. Um, next, what I need is garlic. So I'm going to mince in some garlic mm, for 1.5 kilos of chicken, around 5 to 6 garlic, uh, garlic cloves of garlic. So just mince it in. Mm. Okay. Depends if you like it really nice and hot and spicy, um, you can add till eight, but I think five to six is more than enough so that it will get into the meat of the chicken. Ginger, okay, uh, this adds to the heat, okay, there you go, and uh, chili, mm. we need some chili. Um, before that, okay, before that, I need some cilantro leaves or coriander leaves. And I'm just going to take this all out. And with my mezzaluna, yeah, with that, I'm going to give it a chop, okay? Now do remember to keep the skin on of the chicken. Do not skin the chicken because we need the skin of the chicken. The skin actually um, le lets the chicken retain its moisture. So don't take the skin out. Okay, chop it finely. And also we need uh, a chili. Ooh, this is, oh, it's really hot. Um, the way you can uh, notice, uh, the way you can make out whether a chili is hot or not is just break it and smell it. <clears throat> if it really uh, is really pungent, that means it's very hot. If it's not that much, then it's... Anyway, um, you need uh, around two chilies. 
So this is one. Okay. Uh, one more chili. So this is my second chili. Done. <sighs> now, well, the marinade is more or less done. So we've got our lime, ginger, and garlic here. And again, we put all our coriander and chili. Oh, this is really spicy. I mean, my nose is really burning. Then what we need is the salt inside the marinade. Just give a mix. This is our green marinade, okay? Just check for the seasoning. So we've got our chili, we've got a coriander, we've got our uh, ginger, and we've got our garlic, okay? So the marinade is more or less done. Now I need to wash my hands, just hold on. Fine, now what we have to do is, I am going to a little bit of surgery on the chicken. And I don't want to get my hands, pretty, pretty hands, all dirty with uh, salmonella. So I have to just take out all this, I don't need that, and I'm going to get into the operating mode. I just put, put on my gloves, this is for hygiene's sake, so that I don't cross uh, contaminate anything. Besides, I feel like a princess. Now, <clears throat> what I have to do is, I have to take our friend, the chicken, okay? And what we have to do first is, uh, remember um, uh, the onions, or oh, I hadn't mentioned the onions, you need red onions. And just have to cut it into quarters, okay, just quarters. Don't we have to, don't have to be very uh, precise about it. And just stuff it into the chicken. From inside, uh, it's um, actually flavoring the meat outside. So then what I do is, the next thing is the marinade. Now, what I have to do is, I have loosened the skin actually. This has to loosen, okay? I have loosened it before, otherwise you, with, with your hands, you have to loosen the skin, okay? This marinade goes in between the flesh and the skin, okay? Usually, people um, marinate it on the skin or probably they don't even marinate at all but I marinate this in between uh, the skin and the flesh so this gorgeous green mixture goes into our chicken okay do a little bit of massage for the chicken mm, 